Hello and welcome to the Keyword Research Unit of our SEO Essentials Online Business Training Module. Keyword research is the first step of the SEO process. It's about discovering which keywords people use when searching for products or services that you sell. The goal of SEO is to optimise your website in order to make it appear high up on the results page when people search using those keywords. To start this unit, we're going to learn about how to build a keyword list. We're then going to learn how to refine that list. Finally, we'll look at the common pitfalls people fall into when conducting keyword research. To kick off keyword research, you need to have a brainstorm. Put yourself in the shoes of your buyer. Speak to your customers and try to think about what they might use when searching for products or services that you sell. Make sure that you're focusing on generic keywords rather than brand keywords. For example, if you run a coffee shop called Bertie's, don't consider your brand name of Bertie's, just focus on generic words like coffee or coffee shop. Take into account where your business is, as many people will search for services local to them. Don't consider just one or two word phrases like coffee or coffee shop but also consider longer three, four or five word phrases that people might use. The goal here isn't to build your final list of keywords, but to gather many relevant phrases that you think your audience might use to search for content related to your business. Try to think of at least 10. The next step is to build your keyword list further. The easiest way to do that is using a tool called the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. We'll include a link to the tool below this video. Unless you already use Google AdWords, you'll need to create an account, which you can do easily by clicking Create an Account in the top right-hand corner of the page. Follow the instructions and sign up. Once you're in the Keyword tool, you need to choose the top option under Find New Keywords that invites you to search for new keywords using a phrase, a website, or a category. First of all, Enter a single keyword phrase that describes your business. In this example, I've used coffee shop. Next, if you've already have a website, type your homepage URL in here. Don't worry if you don't already have one. Then choose a category that your business falls into from the list below. Finally, choose the location where your business is. Then click Get Ideas. The results you get back will look something a bit like this, with a graph across the top and a list of keywords underneath. Click on Keyword Ideas to see the actual keywords that the tool suggests. Take a look through the list, and for any that you think are relevant, click the blue Add to Plan button on the right hand side. This saves the keyword for you to use later. Once you've been through the list, click the small down arrow beneath the summary table on the right hand side. This lets you save the keyword list to your computer. Choose the option of Excel CSV. Add this list to the one you've already developed on your own. The next step is to refine your keyword list. In order to do this, we need to understand how many searches there are for each of your keywords, and how much competition there is to appear on the results page for each keyword. Go back to the Keyword Planner, but this time choose Get Search Volume Data and Trends. Paste your complete keyword list into the Option 1 field. Again, choose your location and click Get Search Volume. Once again, you're presented with a graph across the top and a list of keywords underneath. For each keyword, Google lets you know how many searches there are for each month and the amount of competition there is to appear for that keyword. You'll need to look through the list for keywords that have a combination of the highest average monthly searches and the lowest competition. Add all the relevant ones to your plan by clicking the arrows on the right hand side. Don't choose any keywords that have zero average monthly searches and try to avoid keywords that have high competition unless it's absolutely unavoidable for your business. Once you have added keywords to your plan, 
download them to CSV just like before. Now you need to refine your keyword list. Here are some common keyword pitfalls to look out for. Avoid choosing keywords that are too broad or generic, such as boots. Anyone searching for boots isn't being clear about what they want. They might be after some footwear, to look at shoe reviews, or they may be looking for their local chemist. Avoid choosing keyword phrases that are too long. These often don't have enough traffic. Make sure the keywords that you choose are being used by people who are serious about buying your product or service. Think about the difference between someone searching with what is a coffee machine to someone searching with buy a coffee machine. The second is clearly more interested in buying a coffee machine than the first. Go back to your CSV of keywords with average monthly searches and competition. Sort them by average monthly searches from high to low and highlight those with the lowest competition index. Remove keywords that fall foul of the common pitfalls and then choose the top 15. That was the keyword research unit of our SEO Essentials online business training module. First of all, we looked at how to come up with a list of keywords. Then we followed on to using tools such as the Google AdWords Planner to refine that keyword list. Now it's time to test what you've learned by taking our quiz.